Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't, and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. And thank you again for the 1000 subs. I wanted to give away some Chilling Rain code cards. Unfortunately, I can't give away that much, but stay tuned at the end of this video to find out how you can have a chance to win a code card. With that said, let's talk about this new build. So for today, we'll be taking a look at Weezing and Galarian Weezing from the new Chilling Rain set. It is worth noting that Weezing and Galarian Weezing are two different names, so it is possible to play four copies of each of these cards in the same deck. However, since these two evolve from the same basic Pokemon that is Coughing, you will still only be limited to put into play four in any combination of any Weezing or Galarian Weezing at a time. But there is a Zoroark coming in future sets that has the ability to switch with a stage 1 Pokemon from the discard pile, so it will be possible in the future to have more than 4 of the combined Weezing and Galarian Weezing in play, but we'll have to wait until the future sets arrive. I am using the coughing from Shining Fates, it has the Ascension attack. For 1 Dark Energy, you can search your deck for any Weezing evolution and you can evolve this Pokemon. We're actually going to use three different types of Weezings in this deck. Let's start with the new Weezing. It's a stage 1 Pokemon with just 130 HP and all of the Weezing and Galarian Weezing in this build only has 130 HP which makes it very prone to getting knocked out with just one attack from our opponent. It has a retreat cost of 2 and it's weak to fighting and it has two attacks. The first one is Mixin Toxin. For one Dark Energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused, and you have to attach a Dark Energy from the discard pile to this Pokemon. This attack is great for disrupting your opponent and for accelerating energy. And it sets up perfectly for its second attack. Smog Burst, for one Dark and one Colorless Energy, this attack will do 20 plus damage, and it will do 20 more extra damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon in play. So if you only have 2 energies to fulfill its attack cost, you'll only be doing 60 damage. So naturally, you'll want to build up as much dark energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Thankfully though, we have the new Galarian Weezing to synergize with Weezing. It has the ability Energy Factory. Basically what it does is doubles the value of each basic dark energy attached to your Pokemon that have Weezing in their name, and this ability cannot stack. So with this ability in play, you can actually use Weezing Smog Burst attack for just one Dark Energy. And for each energy attached to all of your Pokemon with Weezing in their name, you just multiply that by 4, plus its 20 base damage to calculate the damage output of the Smog Burst attack. For an additional option to disrupt our opponent, I'm also going to use one copy of this Galarian Weezing with the ability Neutralizing Gas. And its only attack for one Dark Energy is Severe Poison. It poisons your opponent's active and you put four damage counters of the Poison Pokemon between turns. And to get us more energies in play, I'm also using the new Galarian Moltres V. It has 220 HP, has two retreat costs, and because it is weak to grass, it actually helps against fighting type matchups. It has the ability Dire Flame Wings. This ability allows Moltres to search your discard pile for a Dark Energy and attach it to this Pokemon. This will help us accelerate energy onto Moltres to increase our energy in play, further increasing Weezing Smog Burst Attack damage output. So it is possible to accelerate two energies almost every turn. And you can actually use the Viridian Forest Stadium to discard one energy if you don't have one on the discard yet, and search for another one from your deck. But you can also use Galarian Moltres V to attack. With Aura Burn, for two dark and one colorless energy, you'll do 190 damage. However, it will do 30 damage to itself. And since our main focus will be on Weezing, we can actually transfer the energy from Moltres to any of our Weezing in play so that its energy will be doubled with the help of this Galarian Weezing in play. In my initial builds, I did try out Energy Switch, which is actually a really great post-rotation. But for now, instead of using this, I'm actually going to use Mawile GX. It has the ability Shadow Connection, which allows you to move or switch around basic dark energy in play between your Pokemon as often as you like. So this will be our means to transfer energy that Moltres gets from the discard pile to any of our Weezing. And since this is our only GX Pokemon in the deck, you may actually choose to use its GX attack for a quick setup. For one colorless energy, Nocturnal Maneuvers GX allows you to search your deck for any number of basic Pokemon and put them straight to your bench. This way you can focus on just evolving your Pokemon in your next turn. 
Also to retain my energies in play, I'm using two copies of EXP Share. If your active Pokemon was knocked out by an attack, you can transfer one basic energy from it to the Pokemon this is attached to. For consistency, I'm using a copy of Snorlax with the Gormandise ability. While it ends your turn, you can draw cards until you have 7 in your hand. And I also have a copy of Cricketune V for its exciting stage ability, which allows you to draw cards until you have 3 in your hand, or until you have 4 if this is in the active. And for our last Pokemon, I also have Mew for its bench barrier ability. As for the other cards worth mentioning, I have a few copies of the Scoop Up Net. I also have Bruno which can be good for drawing cards, and this can actually let you draw 7 cards if one of your Pokemon was just knocked out. I'm also using Clara. This card is new and it's actually pretty decent, especially for a quick recovery. You can choose one or both of the options, either put up to 2 Pokemon or put up to 2 basic energy from your discard pile into your hand. This is like the ordinary rod except the cards go straight to your hand. Sonya is actually really good with this build too because you can either get up to 2 basic Pokemon or up to 2 basic energy from your deck. It's really great for setting up your basic Pokemon or if you just want to get those energies from the deck. And while I'm still able to use it, I also have Nano in this build. This card allows you to switch one basic dark Pokemon from your discard pile with any one of your Pokemon in play. Any attachment, special condition, or effects will be retained by the new Pokemon. This is great for switching one of your bench warmers. For example, if you have Galear and Moltres in the discard pile, you can use Nano to switch it with one of your other Pokemon that you're not using, and then you can use Galear and Moltres V's ability to accelerate energy that same turn. I think it really makes for a great strategy. As for the rest of the supporter cards, I have Boss's Orders, Cynthia and Caitlyn, and Marnie. Finally, I also have one copy of U-Turn Board, which is great for reducing our Pokemon's retreat cost by one. It's great for putting onto Cricket Toon V or Galarian Moltres V. And then I'm using 12 total energies in this deck. I think this build has a very fun mechanic to it. And because this deck can multiply dark energies so much, it's actually really good with Greninja and Zoroark GX tag team. But since I want to focus mainly on Weezing, I'm going to go without this one for now. But it really goes well with this Weezing deck. And that's pretty much it, my deck list will be in the description below, but enough talk, let's see how this build works. Alright, cool, we win. We're gonna go first. Alright, so we got Sneasel to go into the active. We have a quick ball. Uh, we can probably use an energy to retreat. And I'm thinking of getting a Snorlax. So let's do that. We are up against an ADP. So this might be a very uh, dangerous match to be in. Let's see. Uh, we don't have any Snorlax. <laughs> Surprisingly, okay. Uh, so we're just going to get Galerian Moltres V so we can start energizing it. We can start attacking this ADP as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as our next turn. So even if they uh, end up using the Altered Creation, we can knock it out before energizing um, uh, Zacian or whoever. So we're just going to get a Cricketune and energize. going to use uh, Cricketune's ability to get more cards. We don't get anything off of that. We don't have any energy, so I think I'm going to use Viridian Force to get rid of one, to get one from the deck. And we can use Moltres ability in the next turn, or even just attach an energy uh, on Sneasel, actually. That will help us retreat. So, uh, let's see if our opponent is able to use Altered Creation on their turn going second. Uh, that's going to be very hard for us to uh, recover from if, they, if they're able to use that GX attack. Because I'm thinking in the next turn, um, all right, they're getting Trepid Sword. Okay, because in this in this turn we can just retreat Moltres, uh, retreat into Moltres, and then attack ADP, and even if they use Alter Creation, we can knock it out. And it's going to be hard for them to energize Zash and V. So let's go ahead and put more energies in the discard pile. Thin out our hand so we can draw one card with Cricketune. And I'm just going to use Aura Burn for 190 damage onto this ADP. And we can knock it out in the next turn. 
And admittedly, Moltres, Galarian Moltres V card is actually really good. It energizes super, super fast. And it can hit for 190. Although that uh, chip damage that it does to itself is a little detrimental because it's a lot easier to get knocked out, knocked out that way. But um, a lot of my gameplay, actually, I, I won against um, Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX a few times using this deck build. But I wasn't able to showcase uh, Weezing in those matches. So I probably won't be able to include it in the gameplay videos. But... Um, Maybe I could just post it as a standalone, but uh, yeah, Moltres is just an all-around good card um, in my opinion. So uh, get one if you haven't already. So um, our opponent used uh, Mobile GX, but we didn't have any basic. And finally we got a Sonya, which is good. That way we can get our basic coughing. We have four more energies in the deck. So we'll just put um, these two and I'm gonna start energizing one. Use Cricket Tune's ability. And we have two Weezings to evolve into. We just need the Galarian Weezing that can multiply our energies. So we're just gonna use Moltres abil uh, ability and then just knock out this ADP for three prizes. Okay, we got Snorlax. Another energy, and there's the Galarian Weezing that we need. So we can involve one of each, uh, one Weezing and one Galarian Weezing. Um, this deck is actually pretty full. Um, there is, you know, I had a hard time. Um, I wanted to use a little bit more uh, cards in this deck, but I couldn't. Uh, and even more energies if I could, but I couldn't. So I, I ended up with only 12 uh, in the deck so I, I can't go any higher than uh, a certain amount of damage output uh, with uh, with wheezing however it's enough to knock out um, any VMAX in the game so I think it's it's fair to say that this build is um, is uh, not too shabby it's not too bad so they're gonna switch out uh, I'm just gonna put coughing in the active. I doubt that they have any energies here to put into Zash and V. There's the Metal Saucer. They need an energy switch. Oh. <laughs> they had everything. What the crap? All right. Well, they got two prizes off of that and I gave them the coughing with the energy on it, which is sad. Uh, but that's okay. We can get it back with uh, Moltres. Now, their Zashin can't attack. We do get another coughing from our top deck, which is good. So we'll just put this uh, Galarian Weezing for now. Um, gonna use Viridian Forest, discard that, and get another energy. I wanna leave one more space for another coughing. And I'm just gonna keep using um, Moltres ability and attach one on coughing. Um, I don't want to use boss's order because if I do, and it's gonna leave them, uh, give them a chance for Zash and V to attack on their turn. At least if they don't have any switch cards, um, they might get be stuck there, and Moltres will just finish it off. But if even if they do, well, yeah, we lose all that energy if they do end up um, knocking out our Galarian Moltres V. But we're we're pretty much okay for now. We have uh, Weezing to evolve into. We just need a Weavile to transfer all that energy. That way we can double up on our attack, at uh, our damage output when Weezing attacks. All right. So okay, they have Crobat, man. The drawing engine on that deck is insane. I mean, you know what? It's a tier one deck. It's ADP, Zash and V. What do you expect, right? Um, it's it's meant to be explosive, fast, and uh, you know, win games within three or four turns, right? <laughs> so, uh, the likelihood of us winning here is, I mean, we're already, we're doing okay. We already took care of ADP. Uh, now they're having a hard time with energizing. They're probably looking for a switch. 
Uh, they can switch into Crobat, retreat, and then attack with Zash and V again. But, uh, I mean, you know, we can finish it off uh, with uh, coughing. Right? Ooh, they're going to escape rope. There it is. Escape rope. Um, let's see. Can give them Sneasel. That way, at least if we don't get a Weavile GX, we can retain all that energy and still hit for, you know, uh, what is that? 5 times 2. 120, 140, 160. We can hit 460 once we attach that energy on uh, Weezing in our turn. So we'll see what our opponent does here. Uh, let's see. 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 2, 140 plus 20, 160. Yeah, we should be hitting for 160. But they uh, chose to just. Stay with the Mew in the active, which is all right with me. I'm going to go ahead and retreat into Coughing. Uh, I'm going to use Pokemon Communication to get our Weavile finally. Let's do that so we can transfer all this energy. We can um, evolve into Weezing. And let's bosses order this guy. Okay, we could just knock it out. Exciting stage for three cards draw. Uh, we can use this quick ball to get another coughing. Unfortunately, we don't have any more coughing. Um, that's the thing with this deck build. Um, you ha you can have as much as four Galarian Weezing and four Weezing, but you can only have... So you basically ca can evolve coughing into eight different Pokemon, but there's only four coughing. You're limited to four coughing in the deck, so... Uh, it really limits what you can do. But for now, um, I just got a Galarian Moltres just in case they knock out that other one. And we're just going to transfer as much energy on um, our Galarian Weezing. That way it will increase attack. Use Dire Flames. So either way we can attack with Moltres as well. And we're just going to knock out this Zashan V for 240 damage. There's our coughing, which is nice. Good, 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 good. Um, I mean, you know what? Galarian Moltres can. What are you? What are you trying to do? Oh, they can. They can knock out Weavile if they can get enough energy on that Sashin. If, right? Um, The only Pokemon that Galarian Moltres cannot knock out is that Zashin V. Right? So if we had a boss, we would uh, win this game. If they put that Zashin V in the active... Actually, you know what? Uh, I think this is it. They can't knock out Moltres and Galarian Weezing... Or they can't knock out Weezing and Moltres at the same time. Um... So if they knock out one or the other, I think the best option for them is really to knock out coughing. Uh, because Galerian Moltres cannot knock out Zashin V and we don't have a boss. That's the that's the thing. But our opponent already used up Professor's research, so they can't gust up our wheezing. And they're just gonna knock out our Weavile GX. They get three prizes for that, but they left our Weezing alive. That's the problem, and I think we got this. Uh, right now, we have four energies on all of our Weezing, so that's four times four, 160, plus three times two, 160, plus, what's that, 60? 240 damage already. So we get another energy with the Viridian Forest. Uh, no, no, we have to put it on Weezing, so that's... 4 times 5, that's 200, plus 4 times 2, 280, plus the 20 base attack of Weezing. We're going to be doing 300 damage on this Zashin V. Let's just attach that. Smog Burst for 300 damage. Winning against an ADP matchup. <laughs> Alright, we win the coin flip. We're going to go first. 
and we have Weavile or Moltres V to go into the active. I think I'm gonna go for uh, Sneasel here. Um, I might just reserve that Moltres. Oh, we got a coughing on the, our top deck too. And we're up against the Luke Metal uh, deck build. I think I'm gonna put Moltres into play. We can't evolve right now. I'm just gonna put an energy on Sneasel, I think. That's fine. Uh, because if they end up um, using like a hammer or something, we can just get it back with Moltres. Uh, we can retreat with Sneasel. Um, or actually, what I'm thinking is um, we can use Pokemon Communication, exchange Coughing into a Weavile GX and use its GX attack to get as much basic Pokemon on our bench. Could do that. Our opponent is setting up pretty quickly though. We got Zashin V and Zamazenta V in play. We got a Weezing on the top deck. I think I'm gonna Pokemon communication that and get our Weavile GX evolve. Um, attach an oh, hold on. Attach an energy on Galarian Moltres V. Put coughing in the bench. And I'm just going to use Nocturnal Maneuvers GX attack. And I can get three coughing. Or four coughing. Um, I think I'll have to use a Cricket Tune so that we can continually draw. I think having three, three Weezing line is good. Because we only need one Galarian Weezing to multiply energies on all of our Weezing. And at least two. Uh, one for an attacker and one backup. So all we need is to evolve. And if we put in all of the coughing in the bench, there's no way for us to draw into more cards. So uh, I think Cricket Tune was the best option for us for the fourth or for the for the third basic Pokemon that we got from that GX attack. So our opponent is deciding what to do. Um, even if they use that their um, full metal wall GX to increase their defense and discard Weavile's energy, it's okay because we can just get that energy with um, Moltres. But they're just gonna attack for 50. All right. Okay. Uh, although it hits for 150, they could knock out this Weavile GX if we're not careful. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Cricket Tune. I, we can just uh, probably put an energy later on to retreat with it. Uh, we can probably get one from this draw. But at least the discarded energy, we can get it with Galarian Moltres. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Exciting Stage to draw four cards because Cricket Tune is in the active. There's the energy. And we get a Weezing. And we can actually retreat with this U turn board. Put an energy on Weezing, and I think we can switch into Weezing, and I'm gonna use Mixin Toxin. We can confuse this guy, although we don't have any energy in our discard pile. Um, Look, Metal GX has uh, three retreat costs, so if they don't have a, they don't have a switch. <laughs> Every time I say that in a gameplay, as long as they don't have this, and then. They, they, they always have it. Unfortunately for us though, Weezing is gonna get knocked out here. Uh, all they have to do is get an energy. Um, but they're just gonna Marnie? I guess they don't have an energy right now. Okay. Oh, Alright, cool. We get the Galarian Weezing, but now we're gonna lose our, um, our Weezing. Oh, okay. They don't have any energy. All right, so we survive an attack. Our next, um, their next attack will not, will not be too uh, pretty for us though. I'm just gonna put the EXP share on Moltres, put an energy on Galarian Weezing to double that up. Exciting stage, get another energy. Um, I'm just gonna Marnie. I'm hoping to get another Weezing. Sweet. Okay, we had so at least we have a backup on our next turn. 
that's exactly what I was looking for. So we can evolve one. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, transfer all the energies onto our Weezing with uh, Weavile's Shadow Connection ability. And that should increase uh, Weezing's attack, Smog Burst attack. So now we have five energies. That's only gonna deal 200 damage, unfortunately. 220 with the base damage, yeah. But, I mean, you know, 220, not too bad. We can knock it out in the next turn. They have boss, okay. Who are they gonna turn? Not Weavile, please don't hit Weavile. Don't hit Weavile, oh, okay, well, that's fine. If they knock that out, it's fine. Um, hmm. At least all of our energies are in our wheezing already, so that's good. We're just gonna promote this wheezing with the damage counter on it. And we can just um, knock out this look metal. That'll get us three prize card. I'm just gonna use ordinary rod to get the Weavile line back to our hand. And I'm gonna put one more energy on wheezing. Smog burst attack on this look metal. For 260 damage, and that'll get us three prize card. Three price cards. Well, there's another Weavile GX. Another energy. Nice. And another Weezing. Okay. Um, so this Zamazenta V will be able to knock out this Weezing with an attack. I think their best option is to uh, boss our Weezing with a lot of energy. That way they can deplete um, our energy. Um, what? What we already stacked up. And actually that's the weakness of this uh, this deck build. Um, if you end up putting all the energy to one um, wheezing and then they knock it out, you know, it's gonna be hard for you to kind of recover. So sometimes you have to do it though, you know. And with the XP share, we can transfer that energy on our uh, Galier and Moltres V. And I'm just gonna promote Weezing with three energy. They have to have at least a lot of three, um, or at least two Metal Saucer to attack in their next turn. But for now, we're just gonna gain momentum here. Cricket Tune to draw cards. Um, we have another Weezing. We can actually use Clara. But for now, I'm just gonna use Sonya to get more energies. I think that's gonna be our focus. Um, for the meantime, Smog Burst attack for 280 damage. Unfortunately, they, you know what? They should have used their GX attack. It would have been harder for us to knock out our, or to de deal damage, but that's fine. That is fine with us. We are, we just need one more prize card and they don't have an attacker. They can stall with the Lily's Polka Doll. Get energy on Zash and V, but they still won't be able to win with any attack. Um, yeah. Alright, our opponent scoops. Good game. Alright, so our opponent's going to choose to go first. We have two coughings available. So we're just gonna put that into play, both of them. Um, we have Bruno. Oh, Pikachu V Max. That's good to see. All right, cool. It's nice to see other uh, players playing the other uh, Pokemon V Max cards. Uh, sometimes, you know. Although there is a set meta that a lot of uh, competitive players are playing right now. And it, it's nice to prove your uh, deck against those, but to see uh, people use variety of decks is very refreshing. Uh, so I'm going to use Quick Ball, get rid of one energy. That will set us up for uh, Galerian Moltres. And I'm just going to get a Snorlax, I think. And I'm going to Gormandize uh, this turn. 
we have wheezing to evolve into and Gellir and wheezing and a coughing so we have a full set of our coughings ready to go we just need to energize uh, Weavile would be good here oh dude they marnied and messed up our hand those all go into the bottom of the deck dang okay well it is what it is right they're gonna use Pikachu V to use charge that will get them three energies in play we're gonna play uh, Moltres V put an energy on one of the coughings dark flame wings to get one energy into play use quick ball to get another energy in the discard pile for Moltres to use in the next turn and I think Sneasel we have to set this up this turn and I can use Skyla to get hmm boss's order Viridian forest what do we need what can we get with Skyla um hmm I think we'll just get Pokemon communication because we need um evolution for wheezing anyways which we get two of <laughs> But we do we do need the um, the Galarian wheezing to multiply energies, so uh, it's good to have. Oh, well, I mean we have two Pokemon communication now, and they're gonna charge again. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, use Viridian Forest, Dark Dark Flame Wings. Um. We got Moltres from the top deck. So I'm going to Pokemon Communication that for Galear and Weezing to multiply Weezing energies. Pokemon Communication to get ourselves a Weavile GX. Alright. This is working out pretty well. And we're going to evolve Coughing into Weezing with a one energy. And I'm going to put one energy on Galear and Weezing because that also counts as two energies, right? Okay, we're gonna Garmin Dice, and what do we get? We get another energy. We can Dire Flame Wings in the next turn. We can actually knock out Pikachu V with the uh, uh, Moltres. And our opponent is using um, Electrode, but that will, um, they will lose one prize card if they use that that ability they have two rainbow Pikachu V max in their discard pile hmm all right they also have vitality ban and they're gonna discard all that energy to knock out our Snorlax okay we're just gonna promote wheezing um, yeah we should be able to knock out this guy Right now we're doing three times four, tw 120 only. I'm um, gonna use Quick Ball, get rid of that, get our last coughing, and probably just gonna Bruno because I don't want to use Marnie and then give them more cards in their hand. Ooh, we don't get any more Weezing Evolution. That's not good. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, transfer the energies onto Galear and Weezing. Uh, we can hit for 200 damage with that. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. There's not much we could do this turn other than that. Um, so let's actually get rid of that so that we can use Dire Flame Wings. Smog Burst to do 220 damage, knocking out this Pikachu V. Okay. Yeah, um, one thing you have to keep in mind too is, you know, um, be aware of how much damage you're doing. And there's the Pikachu V Max. Uh, because if you end up transferring all that energy to, for example, Galarian Weezing, 
they knock it out you lose all of your energy so uh don't put all of your energy to one pokemon if you don't need to um unfortunately our opponent's uh, pikachu v max is hitting for 130 exactly the uh, damage they need to knock out our wheezing uh, with the help of that vitality band um now we don't have an attacker i mean we have galerian moltres v but if we put that into the active they get two prizes by knocking it out and um discarding all the energy so i think i'm just gonna marnie uh let's dire flame wings first i'm gonna marnie hopefully we get a wheezing on this pull all right cool nice very nice and I'm gonna go ahead and evolve into Weezing. Put the XP share on these two. And let's see how much we got. Shadow connection. Uh, if we transfer all of these energies, we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four is what? 14, 280 plus two. 300 damage. We're we're 10 damage short of knocking out this Pikachu VMAX. I think I'm just going to mix in Toxin here. Um, yeah. Um, if I attack, they'll survive by 10. Although we can knock it out if they... We can retaliate by knocking out, knock it out, knocking it out with um, Galarian Moltres or something. Um, you know what? Maybe we should have just attacked, actually. Right. Um, I, I was, I guess I was scared that if they knock out our Weezing, we won't have any other, other attacker. Um, although, you know what? We should have just attacked because, uh, Galarian Moltres, they didn't have any other attacker other than, uh, Pikachu VMAX. We could have get, gotten a three prize card off of that. Oh, and then they have a switch because they have Skyla. They can just get out of this uh, confusion. All right, well, there it is. Our first mistake. Well, let me know in the comments below what our first mistake was, but I should have just attacked. And now our attacker is gone. Just gonna transfer that energy on coughing and let's see I can promote uh, just gonna promote coughing I guess we got a Marnie okay I'm gonna put that energy on Galarian Weezing Marnie hopefully we get a Weezing on this one <laughs> all right cool all right we got a Weezing nice Woo, okay I think that's it. We can we can knock out this guy now, finally. I'm gonna go ahead and use Radiant Force to discard an energy. Uh, use Ordinary Rod to get... Um, we have one energy. We'll keep that there. I think I'm just gonna get the two Pokemon. Um, coughing and a Weezing attacker. And... Um, I'm gonna Dire Flame Wings for that one energy in our discard pile. Shadow connection, this less energy on Weezing, and we can one hit KO this Pikachu V Max with a Smog Burst attack. There it is. Nice. Three prizes. So we just need one more prize to win this game. Victory is so close. There's the Clara that we needed earlier. So if they don't evolve, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Pikachu V Max, but they can't attack right now. They cannot attack. And they can't use that uh, electrode because if they do, we, we win. Oh, but they have a rose. Okay. They discard all their energy or their, their hand. And they have um, Cricket Tune V to draw three. Okay. So Cricket Tune V acts as the rose tower uh, on their deck. Which is actually really good. Um, 
I might just have to build that deck with the Cricket Tune. And they will knock out... Oh, because they don't have a Vitality Band, they had to uh, discard all the energy to knock out our Weezing. And that will be two prizes, and we will have... They, they won't be able to attack this turn because Electrode cannot accelerate energy because we will win the game if they do. Just gonna quick ball to get another line of Weezing. And um, I can use Clara actually to get two Pokemon from our discard pile. Get our Weezing line. Put another coughing in our bench. Put an energy on Moltres. Shadow connection. Two energies on Moltres. They can't attack this uh, on their turn anyway, so we should be we should be safe. Put that U-turn board. Exciting stage. Uh, let's just discard one energy for now, or one um, Pokemon. Uh, exciting stage. We can get that um, energy ready in our next turn. And I'm just gonna use Aura Burn, and we can knock out this Pikachu in our next turn. We just need one more prize card. Um, any of the Pokemon that they put in the active, if they retreat back, uh, we'll be able to knock it out. So, I think we got this. I think we got this. Evolution Incense. Nope. Well played. Do they not have anything? Oh, they have a heart. Okay. They... Oh! <laughs> they had a rose! And they need two prizes. They can knock out our Moltres V. And they will win this game. Alright, well, we lose this game, guys. But I think I'm gonna feature this as a gameplay. We were able to showcase our Weezing anyways. And it's refreshing to see a Pikachu VMAX deck. And I think I'm just gonna put this in our gameplay, so good game, man. Good game. Alright, looks like we're up against a uh, purple type deck. I've been actually trying to find um, a good match with Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX with this uh, deck build. Because we are dark type, uh, we do have the advantage. But every time I have that, uh, I have a game, uh, usually uh, it's. Galarian Moltres V that dominates and uh, I rarely get to showcase coughing or wheezing in the in those matches so um, probably I'll just set those videos aside and uh, feature other videos but let's see who we're up against here I mean they have a Cresselia this could be the game I'm trying to look for uh, you know just so we can showcase how uh, this uh, low tier uh, deck build can go up against a tier 1 deck. So I'm just going to use a quick ball, get ourselves a Snorlax. I'm going to retreat with Sneasel. Uh, let's use Exciting Stage first though before we do anything else. Yeah, retreat back into Snorlax and we're going to Gormandize. And uh, from my from playing this uh, deck build, I found that having at least 3 uh, Weezing line so two attackers and one Galarian Weezing to multiply ener uh, energies. Um, Cricketoon V to uh, draw a lot into a lot of cards. Weavile and then uh, Galarian Moltres V to get discarded energy into play. So those six cards. Uh, so when you play Snorlax, and that's why I added Nanu in this deck as well. Because if Snorlax uh, stays in play... Um, it, it eats up room, but we need it for the drawing engine. So if we don't have a scoop up net, Nanu is a good good way to get a discarded basic dark Pokemon uh, into play. So I think Nanu is a good addition to this deck build, in my opinion. So our opponent finally reveals their main attacker, and that's going to be Gardevoir v VMAX. Um, I've fought a lot of Gardevoir VMAX decks and this, this deck build does a lot of healing, like crazy healing. 
so hard to knock one out. So um, I, you know, we, you do well not to underestimate the Gardevoir V Max deck. So Cresselia is only able to accelerate one energy. Uh, we can now evolve into Weezing, put one energy. And I think I'm just going to Bruno here for four. And we can just Gormandize. Um, we have a Quick Ball. We can get another Coughing from our deck. Put that in the bench and... Wait, let's use Cricket Tunes Exciting Stage Ability first. Come on. There you go. Alright, we just get another energy. And we're gonna Gormandize. Alright, we get another Coughing. We actually need um, Weavile. And probably get ourselves... It would be nice to have another wheezing line, but we don't have any room. I mean, we can scoop up. What we could do is scoop up Snorlax. All right. Yeah, we. I think we need um, Galarian Mol Moltres V at this point <laughs> with all that hammer going with all that hammer swinging around, you know? And they have Old Cemetery. So now we're gonna take damage counters each time we attach an energy from our hand. Um, we can use Pokemon Communication. Uh, we can set up, yeah, I'll just get that. Get a Weavile. Evolve into Weavile GX and put an energy on wheezing oof put coughing in play right marnie okay we get the uh the galarian wheezing okay Evolve that. And I think I'm just gonna Gormandize. Gormandize. Okay. Well, not much we could do here. And Gardevoir V Max is actually not weak against Dark type. They're weak against Metal type. So, yeah. We're not gonna be hitting for double the damage. Um, yeah, Shadow of Calyrex VMAX is good, but it's dependent on how many energies they have in play. Just actually just like this Weezing deck. Very similar to it. But instead of two, it's times three. So it can get very powerful, but um, it is weak to dark, dark so we, we actually have an advantage if we face off against uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. For now, I'm gonna bosses order this Gardevoir VMAX, it has two retreat costs so they can't retreat. And um, I'm just gonna Gormandize. We can stall that way. We get Nanu, okay. We don't have any basic in the, the discard pile though. But we have another, what is this? Why are you discarding my EXP share? Mm. There's our Moltres. Um, we can actually discard this Moltres. Um, get another Moltres, right? <laughs> and we can use Nanu. We can use Nanu. Let's use Nanu to switch Moltres V with Snorlax. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier too. Nice. At least we're, we were able to showcase Nanu's effectiveness, right? Put an energy on Weezing. So now we have one, two, three, four. Transfer this. So we have four. Four times four, 160. Smog Burst. Oh yeah, 160 plus the 20 base damage, 180 damage. Not bad, four energies. 
for 180 damage. And they're just gonna pass. They can't get Gardevoir VMAX out of the active. Nice. Star Wings, Star Flame Wings. Put another energy on Cricket Tune. That way we don't lower the HP on our other essential Pokemon. Transfer energy on Galarian Weezing. So now we are hitting for 220 damage. Plus 20. Uh, actually, I'm just going to spread these out because I don't want them. We should be able to hit for enough damage to knock out this Gardevoir VMAX. And at least it's not going to be... All the energies are not going to be funneled into one Pokemon. And if they gust it, we lose all of it. So I'm just going to use Skyla and probably just get boss's order. That way we can choose who to, um, who to get next turn. Alright, we don't... I was hoping for a coughing, but we don't have it. So I'm going to go for Weezing instead. Exciting stage. And that's what I'm saying. Because we're limited to 4 basic energy on all of these Weezing evolution, it still limits us. Uh, so with that attack, we will knock out Galarian... Oh, no, not Galarian. Gardevoir VMAX for 3 prizes. There's the coughing. And let's see, what does Cresselia do? Photon, laser, if you have at least five energies, it'll do 90 damage. Okay. Um, actually, Cresselia can uh, knock out our, our wheezing with uh, two energies, right? Or they could just switch into... Uh, <laughs> they can just switch into Gardevoir VMAX. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and... End Put Weezing in the active. We can use Pokemon Communication to get a coughing. Okay. We'll do that. We can replace their stadium with ours. And put an energy on Weezing. Exciting stage for two. Okay, that's we need another Weezing attacker. Dire Flame Wings to add another energy. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and discard one. Use Cynthia and Caitlyn to get our boss back and draw three cards. We can use um, Viridian Force to get another energy from the deck. And we can discard that if we need another energy from the discard to put into Galarian Moltres V. For the meantime, I'm gonna transfer as much energy as I can to Galarian Weezing. So this is 200. Okay, how many is that? Six, seven. We're only hitting for six times, seven times four, 280, 300. Let's just use Ordinary Rod for now. Get our coughing, coughing attacker line back into the deck. And Smog Burst for 300 damage. We have a boss on hand. Even if they knock out the other Weezing, all we need to do is 20 damage on this. Or you know what? It's going to heal up to 70. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Well, good game. Good game. Weezing and its brother Galarian Weezing are pretty cool. The new energy mechanic is really great. It's fun and it's new. And it has the capability of doing some tremendous damage. One thing I learned when playing this build though is that the bench fills up quite fast. So ideally, you'll want to have just one Galarian Moltres V to accelerate extra energy every turn, one Moel GX to move energies around, and at least three of the Weezing line, and one of them should be the Energy Factory Galarian Weezing. And be sure to have a lineup of the Smug Burst Weezing as well. If you're able to get this perfect setup every time, you'll definitely have a higher chance of winning. Overall, I think this is a really fun deck to play. Thank you for making it to the end of this video and thank you all again for helping me get to 1000 subs. So now I'd like to tell you how you can have a chance to get a Chilling Rain code card that I'm giving away. It's simple really. All you have to do is give this video a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments below what other builds you'd like to see featured in this channel. Then on Wednesday at around 7pm central time, I will randomly reply to a few of your comments on this video with a code card number. 
so be sure to redeem it right away when you get a notification before someone else gets it. I wanted to approach this differently and not just insert the code cards on this video. And I'm just trying to be fair by being able to hopefully give a code to more than one person. And this is my first time doing this, so I hope it works. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.